Welcome to the Tevarin Prowler. This is the first Tevarin ship that we'll be releasing. The interior of the ships tend to be red because that's where they consider home, that's where they feel safe. Also is that this lighting that you're seeing, this is the auxiliary state for the ship. So our ships have default states, auxiliary states and emergency states. In this particular state right now, it's auxiliary. So this is before the ship gets turned on. This is what the lighting is like. Once you actually turn the ship on, everything is a lot easier to see. This room here is the drop room where we can hold eight, nine, 10, 11, about 12 people in this one room. We've also got weapon racks lining the walls right next to the drop doors. And once you pop those open, you'll be able to jump out and get into the fight. As we walk through this ship, you'll also notice that um, it's multi-leveled. The rest of the front here of the ship can hold a couple more people, and that's a total of 16 passengers. And then you've got your seat here to enter the co-pilot seat. Um, and he's situated right beneath the pilot, so the pilot's sitting actually above him on the second floor. Um, and then you've got the main entrance area right here where you can climb up the ladder to get inside of the ship if you choose not to come in through the back. Uh, so from here we can go up to the second floor where we'll enter the pilot foyer, also known as the component room. And inside of this room you've got walls that will fall away to reveal the components inside of your ship. Now you don't have access to all of your components, but you do have access to a few, like the cooler here, power plants in the back, um, and a couple of others in here. We've also got uh, some empty space here for other components, which we're debating on which ones are gonna go in here. Anyway, we'll hop into the pilot seat right now, and I'll show you something kind of interesting about the ship. So one of the things that you'll notice in the Tevern ships is that there's no visible canopy. So the idea for these guys is that they're so armored up that they don't even want to expose their pilots to direct danger. And so they don't have glass canopies for you to be able to even see where the pilot is sitting. But that presents an interesting challenge for us because we need to be able to see outside of the ship. And currently, that's not really something that we would have been able to do. So what we ended up doing was we sort of treated the interior of the cockpit as though it was lined with a bunch of screens, just sort of projecting an armored interior between the ship. So that is then something that when we turn the ship on, we peel away to reveal the exterior of the ship. So in this case, we can see out, but no one can see into us. You get pretty cool view of the environment. Oh, something else that's super awesome about this. You might have noticed it while I was flying around. We have a almost fully articulating dashboard. So one of the things that's really, really cool about what we decided to do with the Teverin is that we've got all of the motions of the ship are controlled by a single control input. So right here, you've got the pilot holding on to the only thing that he needs to hold on to to actually fly the ship. So right here, we've got our strafe left, strafe right. We've got our strafe up, strafe down. Uh, we've got our thrust. Let me get a good view here. Increase thrust by pushing it forward. Hit the brakes by pulling it back. Uh, and then we can also roll left and right. So a couple of things that are really cool about this is that all of those animations work in combination. So you end up with this dashboard that's just like in constant motion when you're in a dogfight or trying to evade fire. And we've also tied the, uh, the projectors onto it. So you just have this really dynamic dashboard. It's unlike any of the other ships that we've put out, which I think is super duper cool. Um, anyhow, so let me jump out of this pilot seat real quick so you can get a better view of what the lighting looks like when the ship is on. So again, some of the, the language that we're using in here is we, we kind of wanted to light the space as though you were in a little bit of a metal forest with the sunlight streaming from above, right? So obviously outside we've got sort of like this blue nebulous space, but inside the ship, it should feel like you're kind of having a little picnic in the forest, in a red forest. Uh, and on the bottom floor, you'll also see the same thing here. So we've got this nice, somewhat cool light coming from above with a lot of red lighting accents in the floors and the corners. And uh, here you actually get a pretty good view of what the drop room looks like. We've got all the framing running across the ceiling and uh, these really, really cool doors, which if I pop one of them open, 
you can see we've got an air shield lining the sides of each opening. So if I pop all these guys open, you can get ready to jump out into a fight without venting out the interior of the ship. Let's crack all these guys open. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Uh, and in addition to that, we've got an air shield in the back, which protects the inside of the ship when we've got the ramp extended. So once we've landed the ship, once you jump out of this, there's no way to get back, get back in from the sides. So the ship will have to land and extend its uh, ramp in the back in order to get people back in. So this protects the ship from getting vented out. All right, so now that we've gotten a pretty good view of the interior of the ship, here's the exterior of the ship in its landed mode. This is actually also gonna be the mode that it kind of goes into when you go into hover mode. So instead of popping the landing gear out, you'll just have the wings down like this with the feathers extended, but the landing gear will all be collapsed. In this case, this is sort of its landed mode. Uh, you've got these massive size five guns under the wings, you've also got, I believe these are size threes on the turret right now, actually. Um, and yeah, you can get a good view here of the front where you can clearly see there's no canopy going on there. And uh, the side of the ship, let me change the lighting in here so you can kind of see. Okay, so you can see here with this lighting a little bit better, you've got the drop doors on the sides. It's got eight of them, four on each side. And you've also got this back entrance. So when you're ready to jump into the ship, boom. So this is how you would typically actually get into the ship uh, once you finish your operation. Either hover in like I just did, or basically just climb up from the ground. Uh, so yeah, so that's the Tevar Prowler. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the tour, and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it.